Uh, so there's a new question, which is once there's USB control, will we have real-time control like we have on the group head controller? Um, so will this ever be available with firmware app changes? So the short answer is yes. I will probably not program it because I've got other things to do, but um, we will be adding a Bluetooth command that gives you the ability to change pressure and flow while the shot's running. Now, the reason that's not there now is that if you do that and you, if you do this with your finger, you're gonna have like 30 seconds of where the flow is slowing down based on all the events you just caused because Bluetooth can't handle it. And also your chart is gonna have dropouts because you've now caused more events, right? The chart is coming in at 10 times a second. If I make a whole bunch of events at 10 times per second, the chart is dead, right? <clears throat> Which also means if your shot is supposed to end on weight or volume and, and you swipe, you've now killed the data feed and your shot's not gonna end. So this is why I am not programming <laughs> real-time control over Bluetooth because it's a whole world of, um, it's a whole world of bugs that I'm gonna cause. However, uh, we will make the API available. So in other words, the Bluetooth command will be there and anyone who wants to write that as an extension or a skin, you know, the 1.0 real-time controller skin, cool. Uh, if you go and use that over Bluetooth and you experience a numbing amount of bugs, I don't wanna know about it. Uh, if you use it on USB and you have a bunch of bugs, I probably don't wanna know about it because we made the group head controller for that reason, but you can talk to the person who's working on the skin. And in theory, it should work, right? In theory, with a high-speed interface that doesn't have collisions, we should be able to give you real-time control on the tablet. So uh, I did actually years ago, if you look at the code, there's something called airplane mode. And what airplane mode was, uh, is there's an accelerometer in this and um, what, you can do if you enable airplane mode is you lift the tablet off off the machine like this and now as you're flying you control whatever the current thing is so this would be speed up the shot this would be slow down the shot and it worked surprisingly well except for the bluetooth issues uh, so uh, that that's kind of cool uh, and that code is already there to do that <clears throat> John, just, just to follow up on that question, um, in, your, in your estimation, would you anticipate problems with the uh, version one uh, with a USB bus, or do you think that's likely to work just fine? I understand the issues with Bluetooth and would never anticipate that, but with USB, um, are you thinking it would work or really your personal view is there'd be just bugs and that's not going to happen. Um, so there's nothing, are you talking about the real-time control or just USB? Yes, 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 no, the real-time control. Okay, yeah. so uh, just to answer the question you didn't ask, I don't foresee any problems with 1.0 using USB normally. Okay. I, I, I don't see any issue there and probably the charts, actually I don't know if the tablet can handle 20, 30 times per second screen updates, uh, nor do I know if that's all that useful. Um, <clears throat> and no, I don't anticipate problems. So I think that real-time control over USB should work, even on 1.0 machines. There's nothing different between you know, a 1.0 and a 1.1 1 .1 machine as far as this is yeah. concerned, or, or 1.3. I mean, you should be able to do airplane mode on any of our machines over USB. That should work. I just don't think it's a super good use of my time. Yeah, fair enough. Thanks for that. Hmm. But we're getting more and more technical users. I think uh, <clears throat> the last few months, we've seen the, uh, I think it's as a result of COVID, uh, we've seen the audience for the machine change from being uh, a coffee specialist to being people interested in technology. And suddenly the number of programmers and technologists on Diaspora has hugely increased. And um, I, I frankly think that some this is like a really good home project, right? Is we introduce the new command for real-time control. It's just set pressure, set flow. And 
I mean, the code's already there. You just change airplane mode to true and it'll actually start working. Um, but it might be buggy uh, or they might want to do, they might want to make this airplane mode is like flow this way and pressure this way. I don't know. Uh, or use a camera so they can move their finger up in the air. Uh, all that stuff is, is cool. Um, and, and it's kind of a fun project for people not employed by decent because in a weekend you can bang something up um, and if it doesn't work, you just disable it. So that's one of the reasons I want to get the extension mechanism uh, working so that this could be not part of a skin, but just a feature that could be available, right? So airplane mode moving the tablet like this could work in all skins as an extension. Thank you.